Mr. Rakita from Indiana, two minutes. Well, thank you, Mr. Chairman. I want to thank you for your leadership and commitment to produce a budget that balances in 10 years. I think that's an excellent accomplishment in itself, and I know uh, many of us are, are pleased to be part of it. I'm proud to support the bold solutions contained in this budget and look forward to its passage. And that's because the solutions uh, that this budget contains are built on the premise that every American family understands. We cannot keep spending money that we do not have. Even under this budget, the federal government will spend $41 trillion over the next 10 years. Now, I know that um, I certainly can't visualize what $41 trillion looks like, but it's a lot of money. And we, we have to be particularly good stewards of that kind of money. Instead of asking how much we can throw at these programs, we instead should be asking, are these programs even working? And one thing that is not working in America today is Medicaid. Medicaid recipients are having trouble finding doctors in large part because Medicaid pays, on average, just about half of what a doctor can get for his or her services in the private sector. And the, the results, the health outcomes, are poor. A 2010 study suggested that surgical patients on Medicaid were 13 percent more likely to die than those with no insurance at all. Who is proud of that? This program is also pushing our states closer and closer to the brink of fiscal collapse. States on average now spend more on Medicaid than any other expense, and the dramatic expansion of Medicaid under Obamacare will only make these problems worse. Um, instead of shoving millions more Americans into a failing program like Obamacare, we should look at what reforms are working on the ground. And I point to two states, Rhode Island and Indiana. In Rhode Island, in exchange for a waiver and flexibility, they agreed to cap Medicaid expenses for five years. They put recipients in a, in a managed care program, and it's working. In Indiana, uh, we have, were able to cover 40,000 uh, more people in the Healthy Indiana program without adding a dime of expense to our budget. Let's devolve, like this budget does, uh, uh, these, uh, these funds to the states. Let's get the federal government out of the way and let's follow uh, the examples of Rhode Island, Indiana, and many other states with uh, ways to make this program work so we can do what Mr. Ribble has suggested. And